The armed wing of Hamas has rejected a ceasefire proposed by Egypt to end a week of heavy fighting between Israel and the militant group. As many as 185 Palestinians, the majority of which are civilians, have died since the Israeli offensive began. Harry Fear reports now for RT from Gaza. After a week of fighting, over 2,200 sites have been targeted in Gaza, with missiles striking hundreds of homes, as well as police stations, civil administration buildings, mosques and hospitals. Gaza's only rehabilitation hospital was among three that took direct hits. Its director general explained how it became a target. 2 a.m. in the morning we were hit with the first missile from the Israeli side as a warning sign that for us saying that leave this hospital, we're going to destroy it. So a second missile hit in within 15 minutes, a third one hit another 15 minutes, so fourth one came from the roof. Panics, hysteria, crazy, everybody went crazy in the hospital, but we are staying here to help, support and protect and shield the patients that they are helpless. Among the 17 patients here, only a couple were conscious and able to talk to us. The rest are in comas. They constitute some of the most severe medical cases inside Gaza. When the rockets hit, Karam was inside the clinic. <laughs> We're just one kilometer away from the border with Israel, and this is where the first missile struck the hospital. One of the theories is that Israel wants to clear the hospital so it knows that it has a clear zone near the border where there are no Palestinians. The same day at 5 o'clock, another missile that hit the hospital, they called me, we were hit larger than the, the first four. Uh, at that time, uh, us as a manager, we decided to go as a press release. The hospital made an emergency appeal for support and got an unexpected response. Pro-Palestinian international activists are sitting in as human shields inside the hospital. Israel doesn't care too much about Palestinian lives. There has to be somebody from the outside world, somebody from the Western world, they believe their presence protects the hospital, claiming that Israel will take measures to make certain that foreigners are not among casualties. My presence here is more valuable for, uh, for the international community in that sense that Israel cannot hurt me. Of course, Israel is not afraid of us or our lives, but they do care about their reputation, they do care about the media in the West, and they don't want to have, it, have the media against them. Striking the hospital represents a significant low point in this most recent Israel-Hamas escalation, the third of its kind in the last several years. Direct attacks on civilian objects is a grave breach of the Geneva Fourth Convention and might amount to uh, war crimes. Under international law, hospitals have even um, a greater level of uh, protection when, when compared, for example, with houses. While we were filming at the hospital, an airstrike took place just a couple of hundred meters from where we were standing. We ran for cover. It's a measure of how dangerous this place is that even vulnerable patients find themselves at risk. Most of the casualties arriving in Gaza's hospitals are still non-combatants, and the health service is almost at breaking point, with staff having to work around the clock. Harry Fear, RT, Gaza.